Hey guys, welcome back to the Grace Posse Daily Devotion. Today's Friday. We're going to be wrapping up a really good week here. Kingdom man makes the most of what he has. Theodore Roosevelt once said, Do what you can and what with what you have where you are. Wally Amos began his career in the mailroom of the William Morris Agency and the world's largest and oldest talent agency. He eventually worked his way up to become the firm's first African-American agent. His trademark was sending homemade cookies along with his invitations to business prospects. The recipe was his own, honed while he attended food trade vocational high school. The cookies were so good, the celebrities Marvin Gaye and Helen Reddy gave Amos a loan to launch his first fam famous Amos stores in 1975. In less than a decade, famous Amos cookies were a multi-million dollar success story. Men, never let your limitations limit what God can do with you, even if you are, for now, in the mailroom. If you will simply make the most of where you are, God will do the rest. He is watching to see what you will do first with what He has already given you when no one else is paying that much attention. When you look a little closer at what you have, you may discover, like Shamgar or Moses or David, that you have more than enough to accomplish God's plan for you. Yes, you may be limited in resources or even skills, but while God doesn't always call the equipped, He always equips the called. Never look at what you have Look at what you can become what it can become. Use what you have right now to step toward what God has destined for you. Here's a here's a here's something that just kind of popped in my mind. I watched this movie years ago. Uh, had Woody Harrelson, Demi Moore, and Robert Redford in it. And it was called Indecent Proposal. And the, and the deal was is that this rich guy, Robert Redford, offered $1 million for one night with Woody Harrelson's wife, Demi Moore. But in the, in the process of the movie, Woody Harrelson's character goes to become a professor of, of architecture at a college, and he's talking to people about a brick. He said, this brick is just a brick. But this brick longs to be something more, and he was showing pictures of slides of these beautiful buildings of architecture throughout Greece and Rome and, and, and England and places like this where one brick had become a beautiful building. The thing is, is that what Tony's saying here is that we all have been given gifts. We've all been given talents, and God wants us to use them right where we are. And when we use them for His glory, good things happen. When we keep our mind focused on Jesus, and, and Jesus will bring greatness into our lives. If we're focused on greatness, we become like Peter and we sink. Today's application questions are this. One, what's one thing you're good at? Two, what is one way God has worked in your life? Three, what skill resource or gift has God entrusted you with to use today? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to teach us to maximize every gift that you've given us. No matter how small, help us to use it for your kingdom. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you next time.